So a lot of folks were asking for a radio that you can take in and out of two different vehicles because you didn't want to mount it permanently. Well, this is what I did. So I mounted this one onto a board and that way it protects all the cords and uh, the ends of each cord and it makes it very easy to move it from car to car. So in the description, you can find the links to purchase this and not only that, $15 off. So I highly recommend this radio. It's 25 watts and even with my antenna on the floor, I can reach every one of my repeaters in my local area. And that's all of Los Angeles, all the way to San Diego. Right there, you can see how it protects the ends of the cord. And uh, let's check it out. Let's see how it works. Such a great little radio because it has four spots where I can, you know, basically have all my favorite repeaters up here and I can just scroll right through them. And I, I just really dig that. I like to be able to see them. I can monitor four at the same time. Um, also, which is really cool. Uh, I can always change. So right now I'm on number one, so I can change it and go through all that, right? Or I can just scroll through my favorite repeaters. How awesome, really dig this. This is the perfect car CB. And look how I have that um, all hooked up. Real nice, sturdy, it's not gonna get hurt. Um, somewhat clean, right? clean enough where when I want to move it to my other car I just grab it and it's attached to this board and I plug it into the cigarette lighter and I'm uh, off to the races. So for when it comes to GMRS do you use it for work or do you use it for personal or you just monitor for the fun of it? Uh, what's your hobby? Uh, I say just um, a monitor for personal and everything. The, the repeater is actually my repeater that I'm running. Um, I used to be real big into CVs and I just got into GMRS now. Oh, nice. Is this the one that's listed in uh, mygmrs.com there? It says Bass 600. That's the one that I was shooting for. Yeah, that's the one I, I, I run. Nice. How much does that setup cost you? I looked at maybe doing something uh, out where I'm at because I'm in that little pocket of Glendora. Um, what, is it expensive to do? Uh, no, I got a pretty good deal. It, it, I'm running actually, it's a Kenwood repeater that I bought off of eBay. It probably cost me about 300 and some bucks, and then uh, I just bought the programming cables and I was able to get it programmed and everything myself. Cool, outstanding. So I'm out for now. WRWX576 out of Glendora, up here in the hills. Uh, take care, WROP772. So what do I think? Well, it's 25 watts. 25 watts is enough for me to reach every one of my local repeaters in the crowded Los Angeles basin here. Uh, very easily, you can hear how good it sounds. It's fantastic. All those colors are customizable. So if you don't want the red background and the yellow writing and then the gray scale, when it comes to your receive, you can change all that in the menu settings. And that is done with your mic, which I did not show you but it's all lit up really nice and pretty and you can change all those settings. I did it in about 10 minutes. Uh, the Chirp software makes programming it. Took me 20 minutes to program 15 repeaters. Very easy to do. And this is not a one-off. Not only is this one $99, but three other companies sell this particular model. They just rename it. So this has been around for a while. A great little radio.